it's Jason here again with another video for EEM 171 codes and installation and in the next couple of videos we're going to focus in on the conduit project and just want to start off with showing you the tools as well as using the hacksaw to cut your conduit okay. we'll start off with the important things you need here which is your conduit bender and you want to make sure it's the half inch bender to bend half inch conduit and I'll explain all of the markings on it later on as we go okay you also want the hacksaw to cut your conduit tape measure to measure off your conduit to cut a sharpie to mark your conduit a reamer to remove all the burrs on the end of the conduit after you cut it and of course some safety glasses and you also want a stick of half inch EMT type conduit which is a thin conduit as you can see there it's the thin type I'm going to show you how to put this in the vise and also mark it off to cut it practice to make that mark around the tire piece of conduit. Especially when doing your bends. That's important. And it's that you can keep that mark on the bender where it needs to be. So with your hat saw. Okay, a couple of things here. One is to cut going forward with the saw. Okay, it does not cut when you pull it back. So you need to kind of lift up on it when you're pulling back. Also, you want to go about 40 to 50 strokes per minute. Okay, so meaning that you don't want to sit there and just saw away on it. Okay, because you're doing more work than you need to. Okay. Also, you want to hold this with both hands, okay, to keep it straight. So, use one hand to get it started. to the blade. Okay. 
actually helps if you have somebody to hold this. Because it's wanting to move on. So I'm not I'm only gonna use one hand on this because it's moving so much, but still want to cut on your down stroke. Kind of release and just come back with it on your upstroke. Using the whole length of the blade. And then as you get to the end, it kind of wants to bind up, so you kind of have to lean down with it and kind of move the conduit so you keep the saw from binding up on you. bad. A little bit crooked there because I wasn't able to hold it like I wanted to. But that's how you use a hacksaw to cut your conduit. And of course anytime you make a cut, after you do that you can see here the rough edges. So you want to take the reamer Move those edges. You can see how that blade there actually fits around the conduit. And this is made for three different sizes half inch, three quarter, and one inch conduit. If you're working with different sizes, this is a great tool to have for removing the edges, removing those rough edges. So you can see the nice rounded edge here. So it not only removes the burrs, but it actually rounds it over, which makes it easier to slide into the different conduit connections that you would normally run to boxes, junction boxes and that sort of thing. Okay, so that's all the tools you're going to need, how to mount the conduit in your vise, and how to cut it with the hacksaw, and then I'll do a couple more videos showing you how to make the various bends, alright, that's all for now.